Hey guys, it's me, Nintendo Geek, and today we're going to be showing you how to revive the 3DS online servers with a new custom server that's been around for a while. It's called Pretender Network. It is a revival of the Nintendo Network. As you may know, about 24 hours ago, Nintendo has permanently shut down their online service for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, and I'm going to show you how to revive that on the 3DS. As you can tell, when you try to play online, it will give you this message saying that the service has been discontinued. What you're going to need for this is a 3DS that's modded and updated to the latest version. You're going to need the latest version of Luma 3DS for this to work. And you're, and you're going to need the latest version of the Pretender Network uh, files, which is basically going to be on your SD card, which is also what you need for this to work. Let's get started with the guide. First step, make sure your system is at the latest version, 11.17. If it is, you are good. You can proceed to the next step, which is plugging your SD card into your computer. Once your SD card is plugged in, go to the Luma 3DS page and select the latest version and click download. Also, go here to this uh, Pretendo Network uh, GitHub page. You can go to the official page too, and that'll work. I will put these links in the description so you each follow along and also so you can access this as well. And I will, uh, you can basically download a 3DS X file, which means you have to go through the hardware browser, or you can install CIA. Either one is fine, but we're gonna go with the 3DS X file for the purpose of this video. Once you open up the zip files, first extract the Luma 3DS latest version files to the root of the SD card and overwrite it. Just say yes to all if you already have uh, an older version on there. For the Pretendo thing, there are two folders, Luma and 3DS. What you're gonna do is extract these and you're gonna copy this also to the root of your SD card, also overriding some files. You just say yes to all, and that's pretty much it. You should now see the Nimbus.3dsx file, and in the Luma folder, you should now see new files and folders, basically. Um, so now you're pretty much ready to plug your SD card back into your 3DS. Once your 3DS is back on, you should be automatically open to the Luma 3DS configuration. Now what you need to do is enable the external firms and the game patching to ensure that the Pretendo will work. If you do not have any of these options uh, checked, then it will give you an error message saying that you have to enable these. So make sure these are enabled first before proceeding, and then you can click save, it, save and exit. Once back on the home screen, open the Homebrew Launcher, And now, you're in the homebrew launcher, go all the way down where it says Nimbus. Once it says Nimbus, you will click on that. And now, you should see this Pretendo screen. You should see this screen if you did all the settings correctly. Now, you're gonna go for, you're gonna click the left D-pad and you're gonna select Pretendo and press A. And now it should automatically reboot. It may take like 15 seconds or so. Once back on the home screen, we're going to go back to Mario Kart 7, and don't mind the update if that's popping up for you. Once in Mario Kart 7, go to online multiplayer, and now it should say connecting to the internet. This should, and now you are back in, and now you can now play online once again on your 3DS using the revival of the Pretendo Network. And now you have successfully revived your 3DS and now you can play online again. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next one.